going to reach a lot of people who was Elder Stone. This film's going to preach to the choir, which is what Cindy Sheehan says. There is no choir. Right. But there's 80 people here. So we need to do things that the film told us by putting Oliver Stone's film in there, and that is we need to use helicopters, video games, and all the means they use on us that we're not using. Okay. Who's got a helicopter? <laughs> uh, other comments? Someone? Uh, Sweat, what do you think? Yeah, by the way, you get that online, Occupy uh, American Autumn. <coughs> uh, I, I, you know, I mean, I, I, as documentaries go, I, I didn't think it was, uh, you know, I'd seen much more didactic films. I think, you know, Oliver Stone was making narrative, which is much easier to get involved with because you've got the, the uh, very similar to it, as it were, but this, because it is a documentary, had an interesting take on things. I thought it was well done. The only thing that I, I noticed is that it, it's talking about a horizontally democratic movement, and yet it tended to focus on sort of iconic figures like Phyllis Dennis and uh, John Nichols. Sure. And, and those well, the guys I, who get the byline, I was actually more interested by the little people sure. who seem to have their shit together on a lot of stuff. Leaders emerge, and you know we do we do tend to. Uh, Linda, what do you think? I teach an adult education class, and we, we, when I brought this anniversary up today, um, half the class or more was really in the dark about what Occupy was, is, uh, what is this anniversary. I, I'm really excited to show this film in, the, in, in my class. Um, and, and uh, you know, to Jerry's point about preaching to the choir, yeah, like, uh, we we need to get we need to preach we need to we need to find some people that that uh, will be inspired or ha don't know yet. I think this this would be great for for yeah. classrooms. But you got to talk their language to convince them because to th to show your people who don't know what Occupy this is, they'll go, oh, that's cool, but I'm not part of that. Let's have some female voices, Juliana. Yeah. Sure, you hit your uh, I thought it was great, and I want to personally thank you for bringing it here. Thank and um, I think it could be like the new me uh, medium cool. Does anybody know that medium cool? Oh, yeah. It had a lot of those elements, and, and I think it rocks, and it's going to do the job, and it did for me, and I thank you for bringing it. Thank you it. for that input, sir, ma'am. Yeah, by the way, the cops are outside, so I hope everyone's <laughs> Yeah. 
cult film, it turning into a cult film, more people will just repeat everything out loud <laughs> and show it over and over again. Can I make a point? People get it. To Jerry's point, uh, we, we did reference the famous Gordon Gecko, previous good speech. And it's true that, that Oliver Stone intended that character in that speech to be you know, satirical. And people loved it. They actually cheered for it. And that character became very worshipped. Interestingly enough, the game Monopoly, the original creator, the original version, was designed to teach people about the evils of capitalism. And it got flipped. And so what we have here, I believe we have the, the slaves identifying with and I think, I mean, your point is excellent, but I think we have to change people's consciousness to make them realize that they, their voting practices and their resources and their adherence to greed, money, 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 I gotta get me money, is what's destroying their own existence. What else, please, sir? I know how to agree. Oh, we're up. Anybody else? Uh, William in the corner, what do you got to say? <laughs> um. Loudly. I need to think about that a little bit more, right. Robert. Anybody else? Somebody, a man. I just think it's being a mind of like all this and you know, always bringing down the other side. You know, like bringing them down and saying that you guys don't have this together and all that. But I also notice that you're the only ones that ever care on this and this and that. Right? But anybody else that goes out there and march, nothing ever happens. Like I'm marching with the queen and you don't want to stay with me and you know, the Mexicans and all that. I don't know. There's different issues on the people who march. Mm -hmm. like, the only Occupy that I've been really involved in. And we've really morphed into a bit of a community outreach, community education. We have the garden at the Venice High School. We have, uh, we're involved in a lot of weekly uh, beating case. We obviously did the sleep out a couple of weeks ago. So, BNC? Uh, 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 what's that? BNC. The BNC. So, I mean, there is a time for obstruction, but our focus thus, uh, thus far, at least for the last six months, has been on creation and community building and continuing that. I mean, it's having conversations like this, and it's connecting like this, and talking as people to each other. Man. Yeah, I, I would have liked to, it was a very feel-good movie. It was a very feel-good movie. I would have liked to have seen a bit more fact about the basis of Occupy, like the tenets and some of the things like transparency and stuff promoted within the film. Yes, I, and I, because I agree with you. I think some of the principles of Occupy, Occupy itself may or may not go on, but some of its horizontal principles need to be absorbed. Really, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm a long-haired hippie. Yeah, hey, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I thought the movie was great. Uh, got me really fired up about the Occupy movement, but at the same time, though, the Occupy movement gets a lot of bad press because people tend to steer it in the wrong direction. Like, look what happened with Occupy LA. You know, so many average shows were in there. You know, they bought these brand new tents, but they're only there, like, when they have time. So that just turned into like just a homeless campground. And you know, it just got so much bad press because you know, like they just took it over. You know, it was a homeless campground, it smelled, it's dirty. Right. And then you know, like Occupy Oakland, uh, you know, so many people just steer in the wrong direction, like the Occupy Oakland, you know, they started rioting. So I mean like it's just kind of just taken away. Okay. From the original intent of Occupy. Thank you, sir. Man.
Yeah, people get turned off because the children are throwing themselves at the machinery that is crushing us, and they're, they're fed up. Um, but it doesn't mean you have to do that, but there's other ways you can contribute. Mark, please share. Yeah, um, personalities of the elections and focus on the issue. If we look at what's happening today with this, the presidentials and all this stuff, everyone's focusing on uh, this guy or that guy. Well, how about here in California? California, we know Obama's going to win California. You know, let's face it. Obama's going to win the next election. We know this. Fine. Okay. Let's focus on the issues for the next couple months and Great. push the agenda and push and push and push. So okay. they're going to be focusing on what we're doing. Of everything that's going on right now in the country, who's got it right? The Chicago teachers. Yeah. They're out there fighting for their issues yeah. and getting notice of what's happening to them and making their issue and getting to rise issue in the press. what's going on in, yeah. in the elections. Uh, the next issue I'd like to talk about is practical report ads. And uh, we'd like to uh, pass around the donation bucket. Uh, don't feel uncomfortable if you can't do anything. But um, we're gonna, we want to be able to kick uh, Beyond Baroque uh, back a little something. Uh, Peggy's going to start back there. I'm going to start it right here. If you can throw in something, um, you know, we give all this, we give to everybody freely. It's not about paying. It's it's just about keeping us afloat. But let's let's change the topic a little bit. We we critique the film a second. Let's change the topic and discuss now. What can we do as a community? Maybe you don't want to get arrested. That's fine. I don't particularly want to either. It may come to that, but I, but I have other goals. I have other ways I'm going to operate against the system. What can we do within our community? Well, we held a sleep out and called attention to the homeless issues. What can we do besides being stuck behind our clicker and sign a petition that we may never even feel like it does anything? Any ideas? What can we do? The film is really challenging us, is it not? Is it really challenging us to do something? Uh, thank you for doing this, because that's uh, that's a good way to reach a lot of people. I think it. I, I think the film addressed two uh, important criticisms. So the two that I heard the most was that the movement was unfocused, and that the people involved were degenerates. <laughs> and I think that the film addressed both of those issues really well, and, and we need to do more screenings. Okay, sure. Thank we you. We can uh, all leave the big banks if we have them already. Yep. That's a good, very great direct action. Thank you for that suggestion. Ma'am. Thank you. Good suggestion. Ian? I'll be right back. I'm going to post, and then I'll be right back. 